Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. Welcome to part 2 of my review of the November update on Forza Motorsport 7. The November Spotlight car is the 1973 Porsche 91730. The car that arguably killed Can-Am Racing. But to start off with, we'll check out the race shop. This has replaced the prize crate. So basically what happens is, each 6 minutes, there is a bunch of mod cards, driver gear, and badges that are up for sale. And so this will change every six minutes, whether you're in the main menu or in the pre-race lobby. All these mods you can buy whenever you like. Any driver gear or badges you've already got, they're greyed out so you can't purchase. But so much better than prize crates because, yep, if a new driver gear you don't have yet is there, there to purchase, Go for it. Saves you wasting 400,000 credits on stuff you've already got. Here at the race shop, if you already got it, it's grayed out. If it's not, go buy something. I end up getting the Tanner Faust driver gear out of that. Anyway, and again, if you don't see any of the driver gear, just wait another six minutes and see if you can get anything else. And that's just, that just showing that how it updates. Once time's up, you don't have to get out of the menu, you just update straight away. So it's pretty much instant, which is really, really good. Another new thing is all, the collision system has changed completely. This is collisions before the update. As you can see, cars are rolling, carnage everywhere. Just a slice of punts and a car will turn from one side of the road to the other. Again, massive collision. It's just a concertina effect and I'm involved and I've got 100% damage. Believe it or not, I finished second that race. And of course, Monza, again, just a slice of taps and you're by the tire wall. <laughs> it's just crazy. And, and you see that? Oh, oh, mate, Oz has just been turned around from the slightest of taps. Really annoying, turn one. But now, all that is updated. See this guy, he's given that guy a tap, however, not that much happened, it's a bit more realistic now, and it's just it's really cool. And I get a bit of a punt, yeah, he took me off the track, but if that, that, that happened with the old update, I probably would have slid right in front of about five others. Here again at VIR, look, you're always going to have punts, but it's the, the impact is nowhere near as severe as it used to be. Yep, you got a collision assist now, that helps you out. So yeah, the spotlight car. This car dominated the 1973 Can-Am season. Mark Donahue behind the wheel. Um, yeah, and Roger Penske was the run one that ran the team that had this car. So, it's a very good combination. However, in Forza, it's in the Forza Specials division. So, from that point of view, you can't homologate it for anything. You can't even homologate it in the same division the Pink Pig is in, which is a shame. But anyway, there is a Spotlight Challenge Rivals event. Complete a lap is at Lime Rock in the Porsche 91730. And you will be gifted the 1987 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am Forza Edition. A new Forza Edition to the game. Now, in terms of collection tier, well, I'll show you where that's at. So there's no, I'm pretty sure there's no other way you can get this car, but it is, according to the game, it's uncommon. But they're going to be super rare. So make sure you do this Rivals event so you get the car. Another one for the collection might give you um, a bit of credit boost as well. So yeah, make sure you do, do the challenge. So yep, one lap is all you need. However, I decided to do a clean flying lap just because get me further up in the leaderboards. Not that it's gonna matter, but um, yeah. So my ghost was none other than Brian Eckberg, the guy that hosts the Forza monthly streams, and yeah, it's just pretty convincing just beating him. Now, first impressions of this thing, it's got a lot of power. If you saw um in the rival screen. 1100 horsepower in race trim, 1500 horsepower in qualifying trim, that is crazy numbers. This is bone stock, so probably 1100 horsepower this thing has. And it's also very wide, so you can really, you know, kind of abuse the track limits if you like. But yeah, very impressive car. A car that has this much horsepower 
is should be absolutely mental however this thing just controls it so well and of course having the stig in the car he deserves to test this thing at his home the top gear test track so here we go now this thing is so planted it's it's amazing you can understand why this thing killed Can-Am Racing basically this car dominated Can-Am Racing in 1973 as a result the series organizers changed the rules you know basically limit the amount of fuel flow the Porsches could have basically Porsche they're like, they're like nah not worth it and after that you know Can-Am had a bit of a decline so I forget what division the Can-Am cars are in Forza 7 but this would have been a good fit for that division obviously you'd have to get rid of a fair bit of power for homologation purposes but um yeah that's the thing it's in P class and stock trim however you can't upgrade it to the top of P class you can't downgrade the R class with drag tires however look at that timer 107 which puts it second fastest out of all the cars the Stig has tested ever since he's arrived to Forza 7 behind the Aston Martin AMR1 but that is a group C prototype however Porsche 917's second and third fastest and there you have it so if you like the video smash the thumbs up button leave a comment let me know what you think and if you want to see more subscribe and tap the notification icon also just so you know I am giving away a copy of Forza Horizon 4 so check out the video that's on your screen now um, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on in that video saying FH4 giveaway. So, good luck. Anyway, this is Jeff here and happy racing. Cheers.